So in this video, I'm going to describe and demonstrate to you the latest features of the Saxmute One 3. So it's in its third iteration. Uh, we've stocked the first and second versions for a few years now. Uh, but Max, the maker of these wonderful things, has come up with a few modifications to make the whole thing just a slightly more enjoyable and practical experience. Um, so I've got it set up for tenor. Obviously, the alto is the key most popular one, being the most popular instrument. Um, but I thought I'd demonstrate the big one for you so you could uh, see it working as a lot of the other videos showcase alto mutes. So you can see it's got this slightly more squat shape. Um, it's been designed that way so that there's a bit more room for the hands to maneuver themselves when they're on the left hand and right hand keys without sort of fouling up against the, the side walling of the mute. So, so I enjoy that aspect of this. Um, it's also just a bit more sturdy in the way it connects. That's the two halves. So there's this magnetic strip down here which connects the two halves, the two shells. And in previous renditions, I found that there was a little bit more um, sort of wibbledy wobbledyness and occasionally the two parts, two halves would come apart. And there was also a, a previous scenario of the saxophone sitting on the base of the mute, which caused the, the, the material to flex and therefore the magnets would come apart due to that. Now, this doesn't happen anymore because as you can see, I've got the saxophone set up in um, or on a Hercules standing stand the other way to, um, to use this mute is to use a harness, which is just bundled up behind it here at the moment. I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. But when it's sitting on its uh, Hercules stand, the saxophone inside is just utilizing the stand and it's not actually touching the base of the mute. So if you like, the saxophone is kind of free floating within this mute. And so it's very secure. I was, you know, I'm wobbling it about here. It's not coming to apart and it feels quite nice and solid and secure. Um, a couple of other things. Um, so it's, I suppose aesthetically it's quite pleasing, but it also has a practical aspect to it. But the two halves um, have these sort of brass style handles on each side, which makes it a little, little easier in terms of connecting the two halves. But specifically on this side, it has a practical function in that the, the um, harness wraps round it, so I'll just I'll showcase that in a minute. For the time being, I'm obviously demonstrating um, on the Hercules stand. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up in terms of what we're seeing with the latest design. So I'll give a bit of a blast so you can hear how much muting effect is created with the mute. Okay, so there we go. Um, now, it's still relatively easy to play. We, I sometimes find with the, these mute systems, and certainly the earlier versions, that uh, as you go lower, in fact, I didn't go too low there in the pitch, uh, but when you play bottom Cs and B flats and that sort of thing, in fact, I'll give you a quick demo now. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. What I was going to go on to say there was there can be quite a bit of resistance. In fact, notes can actually pop and blow up on you when you, with previous versions, when you try and play those bottom notes, the B and the B flat, because the, the design was too small such that, uh, you know, you got the stalling effect on those lower notes. Whereas on this one, when I play the bottom B flat, in fact, I just feel a rush of air coming out my, my right hand, which is uh, kind of weird. But um, basically, it just frees up the playing experience, which is exactly the, the idea. You know, you want to be practicing with this thing for hours and on end, and you don't want to, to have any kind of practical issues that you're fighting against. So I think the whole thing just works on a much better scale than previous renditions. So I just want to go into a little bit more detail as to how the mute fits on the Hercules stand. So you'll notice in the design, the internal design of the mute, there's this metal hook um, you can't quite see it from this sp specific camera shot, but there's a little indentation in the hook which needs to slot 
in the back part of this Hercules stand and it needs to basically, the, the little wire section here needs to sit in front of these two protruding bolts left and right just in case you're doing a little bit of head scratching uh, when you're setting it up. There is an instruction sheet it basically explains the setup, but I find it's just slightly lacking in information in terms of this specific setup uh, uh, part of it when we're trying to, you know, as I say, put this shell onto the Hercules stand. I struggled a little bit, but once you understand it, all is well. And I'm now gonna demonstrate, now that I've got it set up, a saxophone just being placed onto the stand so you can see that's all ready to have its outer shell put into place. Okay, so now I have the harness on and as you can see, it works. It spreads the weight nicely. It utilizes this uh, brass uh, curved piece here so that you can sort of essentially pivot it and move around. So there's some sort of nice flexibility in the movement. Um, obviously there's the added extra weight of the mute combined with the saxophone when you don't have it on the Hercules stand. So you have to bear that in mind when making your choice as to whether to use the harness or to use the stand. But it's nice to have options. And um, to be honest with you, I think in general, I really approve of this new shape. The fact that there's a lot more freedom of movement with both left and right hands. And I can easily see myself practicing with this system for quite some time. And of course it doesn't beat the real thing, not having a mute altogether. But if you are in that sort of compromised situation in a flat or something or somewhere with you know thin walls and you need to mute yourself, this is a definite sort of mid price point solution. In terms of its, uh, what, its effectiveness, if you like, in terms of reducing the decibels, it's very good and it does take it down an obvious notch. Hopefully you can hear that in the video. Not quite to the same degree as the e-whisper mute, but then it has its place in the market. It has its price point, which is about half that of the e-whisper mute. So it's a very valid product. And this third iteration, I think, has lots of great points. And I, I see it as a really well-designed bit of kit that's gonna help a lot of you guys out. So enjoy.